Hey guys, Barn Geek here. I'm standing in front of a barn. This is an old barn that's had new siding put on and it's been restored with some of our metal brackets. Um, and uh, what the owner has done is they've taken all the old siding, all the weathered siding off, and put new siding on. Uh, we're going to take a look at the old weathered siding. And if you're interested in purchasing it, he's got it for sale. And uh, then we're going to look more in in depth at the inside of the barn too so stay tuned and uh, should be a good video Have here's a uh, broad kind of a overview of the side of the barn you can see you put some windows in kind of kind of a cool look there um, kind of modernizes the barn a bit and uh, it's got some nice loft doors on the back and uh, you know if you've got an old barn putting a new layer of siding on it can really freshen it up and uh, if you've got good you know weathered siding on it already you might be able to uh, uh, get a, uh, a good price out of the uh, old weathered siding too um, if that's what something you want to do let me know and uh, we can help you out Okay guys, here's the old barn wood that came off the side of the barn. Looks like you got some uh, interior wood here that's one by six. Real nice looking stuff. Um, and then they've got all the gray siding. Most of it is this gray color. Some of it's got some of this faded red. You know, kind of your average barn siding look. Um, You got the nice circle saw and saw marks, some some flaking off uh, whitewash. Uh, some that's deeply weathered here. That just stuff should look really nice. Let's see, see some of the red here. Here's some of the redder stuff. Red. Just very little red and fades right down to gray. Get it all nicely banded. Looks like there's quite a bit here. I'll have to ask him if he tallied up the board footage on it, but I would say, oh, here's some more. Some more of that red. Of course, it's always red up top and then it fades to gray. Most barns are. A little bit more red. Let's see how it looks. some of the weathered you know it's basically your average your average looking barn wood there it's got the deep rain grooves and character from being on a barn for 100 years so looks like they did a good job of removing it and denailing it and uh, if you want to get a hold of some of this or all of it give me a call uh, 888-835-1466 I'll put the number on the screen or you can email us at info at barngeek.com and uh, the shipping will be from uh, um, Reed City, Michigan and uh, you probably if you're going to come get it yourself you're probably going to need a, a gooseneck trailer at least Okay guys, here is the inside of the barn with the new siding on. And I tell you what, this looks absolutely fantastic. That, uh, I'll show you this view, ah, oh, the window's light. But you can see how the old beams against the new siding, that contrasting look, just makes those beams pop. And really complements the uh, look of this barn on the inside. On the floor here he put new boards down on the floor so these are two layers of inch and an eighth thick tulip poplar. Um, the owner owns his own sawmill so he he cut the boards himself and uh, yeah it looks great. 
Um, you can see right up in here, um, he custom ordered brackets from us, which uh, in order to strengthen the the joinery in this barn, and it really, you know, the, you can see them in the corner, but they don't stand out. So I think that's a really good solution when you have an old barn that you want to uh, restore to have those brackets um, to kind of reinforce this this old joint right here kind of gets uh, you know a lot of wear out of time what he discovered and you can see that bracket is looks a little crooked on there what actually happened is this bent right here this post this whole bent is leaning over this direction uh, and this and this beam up here is a little bit twisted so that makes that bracket um, uh, up here crooked so what you would do with that is you would try to try to take the twist out of that beam or like he did kind of uh, um, live with the twisted bracket or you could also you know put the bracket flat on the post and then shim up underneath the beam so that your bracket is flat um, and uh, I think that would work good as well he used some heavy screws for the for the brackets you could do that or I would recommend maybe using uh, bolts with a heavy washer behind them on the other side um, he still has the old roofing material and you can see he's got some hand hewn beams in here um, I would date this barn because it's got it's got uh, the longer beams which is these beams are about 30 feet long from one side to the other uh, date and those are hand hewn so they're they're made with an axe um, and then the posts the posts here are rough sawn so they're sawn with a sawmill and you can see if you look closely they're sawn with a circle saw sawmill you can see the uh, the fine detail of the uh, uh, saw marks so it's a fairly large circular sawmill that sawed these beams and uh, so that would date this barn in probably the late 1800s, 1880 to 1890, um, possibly sooner or possibly earlier than that. They started doing this type of work after the Civil War. And before the Civil War, they really didn't have a lot of sawmills, so they would have been, the entire barn would have been hand hewn beams. So this dates it between probably between about 1870 and, and, 18, and 1900, more likely 1880 or 1890 time period. Okay, so here's the back. This is kind of an addition off the back. And uh, you can see they use the brackets here. Probably can't see them real well. There's, there you go. They use the brackets on this as well to reinforce that joint. And, you know, this is only necessary with joints that are starting to fail. And after a year, hundred years, a uh, old barn joints are starting to fail, fail a lot. Um, so, but yeah, uh, this is one very good way, I think, to restore an old barn. You know, they've got hardware, it's got hardware in it, but you know, it's, it's better than it. It's not an authentic, 100% authentic restoration. But just think of what, what you would have to do to restore this authentically. You know, if that mortise or that tenon is broken off the end of that beam, then uh, you got to replace the entire beam, you know. So then you have a fresh looking beam strung across here that you have to somehow match to the color of the rest of the beams. Where uh, if you do this kind of repair, then you've got a... Uh, uh, you, you're able to use the original beam and uh, just add a little bit of a reinforcement to it. Um, plus, the cost is much less. 
than trying than all the 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 labor that would be involved in um, basically shoring up this structure and then replacing uh, this major piece of beam because you'd have to I mean this supports the roof it supports a lot of weight a lot of different areas in this barn so you would have to you'd have to run a post from the ground up to that high beam up there where the uh, right up there where the uh, the uh, queen post meets the ridge beam or the not ridge beam but the uh, but the uh, um, upper sill beam and then uh, um, so you would have to run a post up to that upper sill beam and then uh, you know take this beam out you'd have to take this queen post these both these queen posts out um, and then you could remove your you know do it on both sides then you can re remove your tie beam and then replace it so this just makes it easier you don't have to take anything out just adding a, a, a heavy duty that's quarter inch thick um, bracket it's about 10 inches by 10 inches 10 inches on one side of the L 10 inches on the other and it's powder coated finish so this is kind of a neat feature he added to his his barn it's got uh, this is kind of the entry to the stairs so he's got it kind of blocked off so nobody can go falling down in there and then I noticed over here you replace this post that's a new post that's uh, ash I can see up there where they just uh, um, attached it to the uh, to the other post so you don't have to take posts out completely if you don't want to you can um, you can uh, cut them off and, and add posts to it as long as you support it well um, you can see up there if you can see it or not that beam has started to come come away from the post so that bracket fixes that problem you know starts to pull away from the post and putting that bracket in stops that from happening anymore so let's go down the stairs and see what we got down there go down here hey buddy got your friendly stallion there <laughs> um, but lighting's not the greatest down here but you can see this is proof it's an old barn it's got the old stone yeah, okay I'll stay away from you it's got the old stone foundation here that they've uh, over the years they've plastered it a few times with mortar but you can see how thick these these old barn foundations are hey puppy hey puppy you see how thick this is I mean here's my hand and that's a you know a conventional 2 by 8 but there's 8 or 10 20 that's a 24 inch thick wall that's pretty cool and then uh, he put new beams down here and uh, floorboards and uh, um, so yeah and then you know you've got sections that are old stuff but if you know if you need to restore a barn contact your local sawmill they'll be able to they'll be able to help you out get you some new beams these are these are pine beams. I believe he said these were red pine. Good quality red pine. Uh, as long as you get good quality red pine, it'll work. And these are about about eight eight by eight, about 24 inches on center. So this barn is going to hold. This floor is going to hold a lot of weight. You can, so he's some more of that. Then you can see this wall over here was built later on looks like the barn yeah this is that section that was added on to uh, so it was built later and it's a thinner you know concrete block wall and then 
Here we're going to go into the old milk house. And uh, so he's going to be working on restoring this pretty soon, but looks like it's in pretty good shape already. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. Oh, you can see there's a little the old pulley up there for unloading the wagons um, of this old barn. The old uh, hay trolley track is still intact. I don't see the uh, I don't see the uh, hay forks or anything, but that's still intact. And uh, you can see some old hardware for some from some old repairs. Looks like they uh, repaired this tie beam at one time. Put some two by six on the edge and bolted another beam to that to that one. Um, but uh, yeah, hope this guys help. I hope this helps you guys in your restoration projects. To kind of motivate you to to kind of do the restoration because you can really make an old barn new again with just some fresh wood that you get at a local sawmill a few brackets and some hard work so hope you guys enjoyed the video of this barn tour and uh, we'll catch you on the next one well, let us know if you want some of those brackets and we can get them out to you have a great day thanks okay guys here is a good candidate for restoration just like the barn you just saw uh, this one's just around the corner it's very similar uh, to that barn except for this one is you know you can see it's starting to buckle out the side but if you took the time to put some brackets in there and you know maybe put some new siding on um, and you could uh, you could come out with a uh, pretty nice building and I hope that gives you guys some good ideas encourages encourages you that uh, have old barns to take the time and effort to restore them have uh, thanks for watching have a great day Thank mm -hmm. you.